to fight in front of his hometown. Yeah, uh, Steve Walker, like we said before, he's a staple in this uh, organization of Lion Fight over here in Foxwoods. He's looked unstoppable so far. And he has been unstoppable, still undefeated. Dynamic power, dynamic creativity in all angles of his attacks, spinning attacks, great combinations. He's as textbook Muay Thai as it gets, but he stands in front of the toughest test that he's had to date. The most experienced fighter that he's had to stand in front of to date. Zile, Christoph Zile versus Steve, put him to sleep, Walker. Unbelievable main event, and it's only moments away. I'm starting to get amped up for this one, Richie. I'm amped. I was excited to see Steve fight last time. I'm even more excited this time. For the last time tonight, let's get one more official introductions from Justin Roberts. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for your main event of the evening. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your This international super fight is scheduled for five rounds in the Lion Fight Super Cruiserweight Division. Your referee is Dan Lutan Mugliana. Oh, yeah. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of 27 wins and 11 losses. From Latvia, Latvia, standing at six feet, four inches tall. Weighing to 104 pounds, Christos Zillian! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, with a record of five wins and no losses. From Boston, Massachusetts, standing at six feet two inches tall, weighing to 102 pounds, Crowd is electric for this main event as Dan Mergliotta takes the center of the ring to give the fighters the final instruction. North American title on the line. International. International title. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> What's the difference between North American and international? Oh, because he's you not. You just asked me what the North American He's Ameri not from what? North America. I get it now. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, main event. <laughs> Geography wasn't his strong suit. No, not at all. Main event time here. Steve put him to sleep. Walker versus Kristaps Zilek. Dan Mergliata, our referee for this main event here at Lion Fight 46. They touch gloves in the center of the ring. And here we go. Steve Walker in the black trunks. Kristaps Zile in the white trunks. And right away, build-wise, these guys are very similar. Very similar. Big super cruiser weights. Both yeah, men weighing in at 205 pounds. These guys are massive. Yeah, and no, no extra weight there either. They're both ripped. A southpaw walker. Just this positioning of his footwork. Keeping Zile thinking. And Zile, a slow starter in some of his fights, likes to feel his opponents out, maybe take a little bit of a beat and engage the speed and distance, and he comes back with ferocious counters later in the fight. You don't want to take a beating too long from put him to sleep Walker, though. Yeah, he's got the power to put you to sleep. That's why they call him that. Ooh, oh, I didn't know that. For the left hand. <laughs> Learn something new every day. Both guys kind of feeling each other out here. They do have five rounds to do it. Ooh, big left. Ooh, nice catch there. Liver kick. And Steve Walker is coming out hard here. Zile covers up and throws an overhand right to gain the respect back from Steve Walker. Fireworks already being thrown here in this main event. Watch 
for that left kick to the body again. Ooh, nice timing on that inside kick. Zile loses his balance for a quick moment. Watch that left body kick from nice Steve track. Walker. A valuable weapon of the southpaw, and there it is off of the right kick. Zile trying to throw an overhand right. Walker starting, Walker starting to get comfortable in there. His hips aren't around. <laughs> they are not at all, very truthful. Ooh, big left hand down the pipe. What a chin on Zile though. Ooh, he catches it, and there's the sweep. Beautifully done by Walker. Big points on the board already for Steve. Put him to sleep, Walker. He put him to sweep there. <laughs> Uh, okay. It wasn't that funny. Pun of the night. Check kick there. Ten seconds left in this opening frame. Zile's got to do something to get Walker's respect here. He's just missing on some big yeah. overhand rights. So far he hasn't been able to really land anything super significant. But he moving very well when he is backed up against the ropes. He's been able to slip some of the Big parts of the attacks only take minimal damage there. Like I said, notorious for being a, small, uh, a little bit of a slow starter. Takes a quick beating in the first round or two, and then he comes back and watch him to start trying to time some counters as Walker starts moving in as the beautiful Jackie signals for round two. Yeah, like you said, Zilay known for kind of starting slow, so we'll see if that comes into play here. He starts to pick it up. Now, traditionally in Muay Thai, if you go to Thailand, most guys, they don't, they don't do much in the first two rounds because that's when everybody's placing their bets. So the first two rounds is, you know, they kind of feeling each other out, kind of showing off a little bit. And then third, fourth, fifth rounds, they start to pick it up. So that could just, that, that kind of tells me that Zile seems to be a traditional guy. Not the case for Steve put him to sleep walk. No, he was Steve comes progress. in to knock people out. Forward progress for the first three minutes trying to find a home for any big strike. They touch gloves in the center of the ring and round two is underway. Don't blink, folks. Both of these guys have knockout power with one shot. And it could happen at any time. Walker changing up his footwork, trying to disrupt the timing of Zile. He keeps doing that step behind, threatening with the spin. Just keeping Zile thinking. Trying to find an opening, trying to get some reactions out of Zile. You can just, it, it's super Ooh. experienced with the striking. Ooh. Nice jab. Walker pushing the pace so far. I like the way he switches, kind of switches his stance. As he's you, walking forward. Yeah, and you don't really know which, which leg he's gonna throw. Overhand right from Zile, just misses. Walker can't get too reckless coming in. Zile's got big power. Oh, oh there's a right, big hand. right hand. Both men land. Another overhand right lands for Zile, and that's exchange. And whoa. Walker's got his respect now. Walker's just having fun in there. He wants a fight. Zile looking to put the first loss on the record of Steve, put him to sleep, Walker. Looking to keep that unblemished record unblemished. That foot hit the knee, ouch. <laughs> and Zile still, besides that big right hand, hasn't been able to get much off. Nice jab there by Walker. Surprised he hasn't thrown that left body kick as the southpaw. Landed for him a couple times in round one. Zile switches the stance here. And right back. Walker's really using that, that jab there. Zile's still trying to like backpedal and get the timing of the attacks. Big miss on the spinning Ooh. attack. But Walker covering up, uh, following up with a big flurry. And Zile just using good head movement, trying to get out of the way of everything. He's 
short knees from the clinch from Steve put him to sleep Walker again this is an international super cruiserweight title fight 10 seconds left in round number two all right we are two rounds down in this title fight let's see if Zile has done enough studying of Steve put him to sleep Walker to see if he's going to be able to start timing some of those counters as the beautiful Alley gets a set for round number three. Steve put him to sleep Walker very aggressive in that second round much like the first. Found some success and some flurries. Still not able to find the big shot as Bill Newcomb gives his fighter instructions. Yeah Steve um, again he did a good job. He was pushing the pace and uh, you know letting Zile feel that power but Zile you know again Kind of just feeling out the process. Not really able to land anything too significant. He did land a counter right hand that seemed to get the respect of Walker, but again, hasn't really come forward much at all yet. Let's go into the third round here. The aggression is definitely in favor of Steve put him to sleep Walker. I'd imagine he's up two rounds. He scored the trips. He's landed the more effective strikes. If there's a time to try and change the momentum of this fight, it would be now for Christoph Zile. Yeah, let's see if Zile starts to move forward a little more. Ooh, and Walker comes out orthodox now. Oh, switches back. Ooh, nice spinning attack from Zile. And then kept found a body. rib. <laughs> or an ab. Oh, that was the grind. Accidental low blow happens in this sport. Totally unintentional. Steve Walker gives a bow and apology. <laughs> trying to bounce him out. You're trying to tell him to fall on his butt like you do? When yeah, you you're supposed to. Nobody does that but you. Uh, my wrestling coach taught me that. I've, just nobody saying. does it but you. All right. No one likes a nut shot, but we're back. Zule keeping his eyes on the chest of Walker. Still a lot of back pedaling and ducking. Steve Walker tried going high with that left kick a moment ago to try and time the duck of Zile. Ooh. There's that body kick. <laughs> and he follows it up with two more. Steve Walker's just, his pressure on Zile, just not letting Zile get anything off. It's a great weapon for the southpaw, that left kick to the body, and Zile's elbow is a little high up where he's got a nice avenue to that liver nice if he wants there. it. Maybe that body shot might have hurt him. Zile's starting to drop his hands just a tad bit here. Yeah. You can see the welt on that body. Oh, yeah. Turning red. Nice kick to the calf. Oh, just missing with the right hand is Christoph Zile. Not liking moving forward though throughout the, this fight. Very content to keep backpedaling around the ropes and try and time Walker coming in. High kick, it's blocked, that one. Ooh, that one's on the head, he's hurt. Covered up nicely, I think it grabbed it, grazed him with the toes of the foot. Not quite clean to the shin. Spinning attack misses. Zile using his backwards movement effectively. Walker trying to entice Zile to stand in the middle and not backpedal anymore. Gives him a little head nod and an indication that he wants to brawl. That's the end of three. 
slower pace round in that third round, but I mean, listen, you got to respect the power of these super cruiserweights. These guys can end anyone's night with just one shot. So they got to be very careful on their entrances, and both men very much so are, as Jackie signals us for round four. Christophe Ziele not finding any success with any of those counters, and Steve Walker, you know, landed a nice high kick, looked to have Ziele hurt for a little bit in the flurry, but not able to find a big shot to start timing a finish. Yeah, a um, couple big shots there landed by Walker again. Um, he landed a nice head kick there. Um, still hasn't been able to find the finish though. Zile again, keeping his back against the wall, just trying to be cautious, not trying to get, get into any flurries. He doesn't want to brawl with Steve because he knows that's exactly what Steve wants. So he's not gonna play into that. Both men do possess knockout power. And like you said, Muay Thai tends to pick up in the latter rounds. So, with two rounds to go, and two devastating strikers, that whole don't blink at this thing still continues. Yep, especially with these big guys, it only takes one. Coaches of Steve Walker saying Zile needs a nap. Spinning attack, just misses from Walker, but he eats a couple shots of his own there. Aggressive Ooh. clinching. Looking for a knee. Oh! Watch out. Catch him, catch him. And on the clinch is Walker. There's the break. Margliotta breaks him up again. Walker just walking him down. Walker's walking. <laughs> I gotta stop. Walker's stalking. Walker stalking. Hips like Shakira, just moving them around, <laughs> looking for the opening of that kick. <laughs> Hips like Shakira. Changing the angle of that fit, that kick right down the middle. Again, Zile backing up. Still not able to get anything off. Really patient is Zile. Doesn't come forward with aggression with too many chances here. Very happy to just keep backpedaling, trying to. Oh! oh! There's a big one. There's the big shot we were talking about. Right in front of us. Couldn't get any Six, clearer. Big right hand from putting the sleepwalker. Standing eight count is coming. Let's see if Zile answers. Is telling Zile to walk forward with the hands up, and they continue this fight. Zile answers, but Walker smells blood. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, There's the head kick. kick. Oh, and that's it. That's the fight it. Is this over. fight is over. Not outgoing, oh. but hurt badly enough. Oh. Huge knockout for put him to sleep, Walker. And that's a nap taken if I've ever seen one. Wow, and put him to sleep puts him to sleep. Two Unbelievable. It's in 10 seconds into round number four. Unbelievable. Steve Walker lands a beautiful right hook that flatlines Christophe Zile for a moment. He makes it back up to his feet in time for the end of Dan Mergliotta's count. And it didn't take more than 10 seconds after the first knockdown for Put Him to Sleep Walker to find a home for that left shin on the chin of Christophe Zile. Fourth round knockout, still undefeated. And he is now the international super cruiserweight champion, Steve Put Him to Sleep Walker. Yeah, Steve Walker, man. It's, it, started with, it started with that big right hand that dropped him. He dropped him with a big right hand. Zile answered the eight count, but you could see it on his face. He was still dazed. And uh, I mean, Steve Walker just smelt blood, came in with a big flurry, followed it up with a head kick. The head kick landed flush, put him to sleep, lives up to his name. Beautiful, beautiful knockout there. And, and a, great, a great fight, a great fight from both guys. Looks like nap time is over for Christophe Zile. He's back on the stool. Yeah, Zile as game as possible. He what? was never out of this fight. What a night of fights. I, I mean, mean, top to bottom, these on. fights were absolutely Unreal. incredible. What Line a card. Always delivering, and what a sensational main event. A lot of stalking, not as many flurries, but it just takes that one second. Steve Walker absolutely. set it up perfectly like an artist.
Huge right hand for the first knockdown, huge left kick for the second, and that's all she wrote. That is his fifth finish by knockout. 6-0 undefeated, five knockouts for Steve Putter.